Alright, in this video I just want to address a concern a couple people have posted on the Serato forums and that is after installing the new ASIO or Core Audio drivers for the SL3 uh, they think there's something wrong with their SL3 because it may take a little bit longer now to connect to Scratch Live when you first start the program. Uh, they didn't mention this but after installing the new ASIO or Core Audio drivers it may take a little bit longer for Scratch Live to connect uh, to the SL3 or the 68. And this is because it needs to switch over from uh, Core Audio or ASIO mode to native Scratch Live mode. So, as you can see, we have the SL3 plugged in, the light is on, but we haven't loaded Scratch Live yet, so let us do that now. And I'm using the new 2.2 beta version. And you're going to see the light go off on the SL3, and that's what freaks a lot of people out. So they think something happened to their SL3, it's broken, and they start panicking. Well, don't panic, just wait it out, it'll eventually kick over. Uh, it may take uh, 15, 20 seconds, um, but as you can see, the light just went back on. And now we should see the full decks pop up in Scratch Live. So, if you install the new Core Audio or ASIO drivers, don't panic if your SL3 or 68 doesn't connect. You know, as soon as you open the program, it might take a little bit longer, so uh, just let it sit and it will do its thing. So, no need to panic.